Hello, my name is Graham Stinnett. I'm an archivist at the Archives and Special Collections at the Thomas J. Dodd Research Center, University of Connecticut Library. And I'm Brooke Brody Gemmel. I'm the assistant archivist for the uh, Robin Romano papers. And for the last year and a half, I've been working on processing this collection and making it accessible to students and scholars here. We've been working to curate this exhibition, which is focusing on uh, light manufacturing and the child labor photographs that Robin Romano documented throughout his life's work. The name of the exhibition is Lifting the Veil, a Photographic Archive of Child Labor in Light Manufacturing. One of the things that we wanted to focus on in this video is the iconic image of the bonded slave child who was working in a brick kiln. Um, this image was ultimately the cover of a documentary film that Robin worked on um, called Stolen Childhoods. It was published in 2004 and it was the first international documentary focusing on child labor, which was all part of the activism and advocacy that Robin really employed in his photographic work. And as Graham said, this is one of the most iconic images that Robin produced. But a large part of this collection is all of the work materials that we have from Robin as well. And so right next to the iconic brick labor image, we have a much lesser publicized image, but was still one that he deemed to be one of kind of the strongest ones that he would have used for a show like this. But in this case here, we have materials that would have been part of his workflow. So when he would have been photographing this subject, he would have been walking around her. He would be zooming in and out with his lens or moving back and forth with his feet, crouching down, standing up, really anything that he could do to change the angle, to catch her gaze, or to catch her looking away from him, um, playing with the movement of her hands as she sculpted the bricks from clay, um, really anything to just make a different image. And from there, he would have dozens of images across various rolls of film or memory cards, and he would put those onto a contact sheet, which we see right here. And on that contact sheet, he can now compare all the images next to each other, pick the ones that most adequately describe what he's trying to say, and then he can pare that down um, and manipulate the file to kind of get the look that he's going for. And then from there, he would make something that is more finished to be uh, reproduced or um, distributed somewhere else. There are various platforms in which you can find out more about Robin Romano and his human rights work. In addition to exhibitions of his work, you can visit lib.ucon.edu to browse the repository and see the ever-expanding galleries available to the public. Also, you can listen to podcasts related to Robin's work by searching for Robin Romano on the University of Connecticut's library page. Links will be provided at the end of this video for your convenience. If you would like to learn more about the collection or schedule a visit, please contact the Thomas J. Dodd Research Center for more information. I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction to the work of you, Roberto Romano, here at the Archives and Special Collections at the Thomas J. Dodd Research Center at the University of Connecticut. Thank you.